Research shows that children spend an average of 20 minutes a day with their parents and five hours a day glued to their devices. That's why a former youth pastor named Zach Fay created the online platform Light Gliders. It's a safe digital playground where kids can have fun and learn important life lessons as well. Take a look. Light Gliders is a digital world of Christian faith, fun, and games. It encourages biblical faith, positive values, and meaningful conversations among kids and families. By offering fun gameplay, wholesome, uplifting content, and a safe online community experience on computers, tablets, and smartphones, Light Gliders supports the goals of you and your church by creating Sunday school moments throughout the week. Invest in the faith and values of the next generation. Give kids digital playtime with a powerful purpose, where faith and fun come together. Well, Zach Fay is here with us now. Welcome to the program. Thank you for having me here. Uh, tell me a little bit when a young person plays light gliders, what are they, what's it like? What's the game about? They are entering into a digital world of games and videos and interactive activities that are fun for them, but also are encouraging um, faith values and conversations with the people who care about them the most. What made you pursue this, Zach? What was the, where did this idea come from? For some reason, I can't fully explain, I had been uh, burdened by a question, and that question was, how can we in a culturally relevant and potentially global way impact kids uh, during what the research says are the most critical years, which are before the teenage years? The research says that if we haven't uh, accepted Christ by the age of 13, there's a 85% chance we never will. So wow, 85% chance. That's what the research says. I hope that's not true. Uh, and we know that God can reach someone at any age. But just in case it is. <laughs> just in case it is, we need to do, we need to engage in strategies that are impacting kids um, uh, before their teenage years. And that's one of the things you say, that you want young people who are engaging in this to have strategic fun. Mm -hmm. So you actually have four components that are a part of this yes. that matter. Talk a little bit about those four things. Absolutely. So Light Gliders was created to be fun for kids, but embedded into Light Gliders are um, activities, a story, and a game world that does four things. Number one, teaches a biblical worldview, like answers life's most important questions um, um, through the scripture. Uh, number two, uh, uh, encourages prayer and reflection so that kids can grow in their faith on their own um, at seven, eight, nine years old. Number three, give kids a vision for real world service. Uh, in fact, the tagline of Light Gliders is you were made to shine. You were made to impact the world around you in the way that you were designed to do so by God. And then number four, and probably most important, create catalysts for meaningful conversations uh, at the dinner table, before bed, or during the car ride home from school so that um, seeds of hope and truth are being planted in kids' hearts during um, these formidable years. So parents are meant to take this as a tool and actively engage with their children in conversation and just discussion about what they're doing, sitting down with them. Absolutely. In fact, the kids are playing in the game world, um, but we send the parents a weekly email with the themes and the lessons in the games that week, wow. um, including a theme verse. And then we also offer conversation starters to the parents because they want to look over the kid's shoulder, know they're playing something safe and positive yes. and faith-based. But then we actually want to equip uh, moms and dads and grandmas and grandpas to have conversations because those are the things that transform kids' lives. That's what dinner tables are all about, That's exactly right? right? That's exactly <laughs> Talk right. Talk a little bit about your own background. Like you, I mean, you knew the four components that you wanted to put in this. You understood the reason why. Where did all of that come from in your own life? Well, I'm someone who met Christ through a relationship with my dad. Uh, oh. My dad put me to bed every night as a, as a kid at seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. You know how blessed you are? So, and, and that's the thing. <laughs> as I got older, I learned I had a unique testimony. Yeah. And um, I realized as a, as a former youth pastor that uh, um, parents um, are looking for tools um, to impart faith and values into their kids. And uh, I think we all have an affinity towards whatever it is the Lord uses to bring us to Him. And for me, it was a, a relationship with my dad yeah. being put to bed at night. And at the end of the day, the goal of Light Gliders is to redeem the digital time so that these quality moments happen in the home um, at 
at bedtime or at the dinner table, really when uh, a kid's heart is open mm -hmm. um, to and having everything a... else quiets down. Exactly, right? exactly. You know, I think as a youth pastor too, God must have used your role in that area to define those four core principles mm -hmm. that you wanted to be a part of this. Mm -hmm. Did you, as a youth pastor, see a lot of kids, even in the church, who were just kind of wandering Absolutely. through life? In fact, the, the research says that uh, um, uh, even the church teenagers today are growing up with little uh, sense of purpose. Yeah. And, and even with, uh, without a, a true understanding that the Bible is relevant to their lives. Um, and so uh, as, a, as a youth pastor, um, I spent, like I said, countless hours with kids and uh, I felt like I was putting out a lot of fires rather than building leaders. Yes. And, uh, and I think, um, you know, it, the church only has one to two hours a week. Kids are spending over 40 hours a week in front of screens. It's kind of crazy. It's crazy. It? And yeah. so we want to redeem that and we want to support the church, support families, and offer something between Monday and Saturday that can support discipleship in the home. You know, <clears throat> I think for young people today, too, sometimes we get so busy as the adults in their lives mm -hmm. that we feel like just caring for them, mm -hmm. you know, is answering needs. But mm -hmm. they really need to know that we're listening to them. And this sounds like it's a conversation generator. That's exactly, that's a great way of putting it. That is a Wonderful. great way of putting it. Yeah. What do you want people to come away from who are investing in and using light gliders in their lives and the lives of their kids? Well, what I want them to do is, is check out light gliders. Go to lightgliders.com and check it out. And, and at the end of the day, what we want is every home in America and around the world to become a place of discipleship. Yeah. And we want light gliders to be one of the many tools out there that supports that. And you've got resources for parents. We do. They get they get um, a weekly email with the with the lessons that are going on in Like Gliders. We also have a um, It's almost like your Fitbit reminder. You haven't yeah. done your 10,000 steps. Get out there. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You don't force it on anyone, yes. but if they want to use that, yeah. they absolutely can. And we have some families that just love that Like Gliders offers a safe positive alternative because the digital world is crazy these days. Um, but then we also have other families that actually use the devotional videos at bedtime. They actually use it all to spark conversations. And to your point, listen to their kids' hearts. And that's where um, great things happen. Well, you know, we're not going to ever keep them from this whole digital world that's around us, but we sure can have an impact on them by controlling what it is they're exposed to. So if you'd like more information on light gliders, go to cbn.com. And Zach, thank you so much. You've thank given you so us much for having me. It's a lots pleasure of good to be here. material here. Thank you. All right.